this is English News Broadcast on Air TV for Thursday evening, for, for Sunday evening, 4th of August 2024. Here are stories making headlines. Asmara College of Education graduates 294 students. Water and soil conservation activity carried out. Russia reports record level of crimes linked with terrorism and extremism. U.S. unemployment rate ticks up strengthening case for rate cuts. In its 17th commencement, Asmara College of Education has graduated 294 students, including 143 females, for the fifth time in postgraduate diploma yesterday, 3rd of August. The graduates include 137 in science education, 83 in mathematics education, 68 social science education, and 6 in English language teaching. In his keynote address, Mr. Yamane Gauramaskal, Minister of Information and Guest of Honor, noting that academic and vocational education and research have been developed aligned with the short and long-term national programs and policy of national development, as well as by putting in place the necessary infrastructure, material, and budget. He also underlined on the significance of knowledge supported with the noble societal values, work vigor, and discipline. Minister Yamana noted that being a youth educator is at the forefront of change and development. He urged the graduates to deeply understand their role, give proper attention to their profession, and effectively implement their knowledge. Dr. Jonas Mesfin, acting dean of the college, remarked on the remarkable success achieved by the government of Eritrea in improving the quality, equity, and access to education. He noted that the postgraduate diploma program at Asmara College of Education is one of the efforts reflecting this investment. A representative of the graduates stated that they have acquired education supported by both theoretical and practical training and expressed their conviction to contribute to the development of education in the country. In the past five years, Asmara College of Education has graduated 706 students with postgraduate diplomas. About 500 workers from various institutions under the National Confederation of Eritrean Workers are engaged in water and soil conservation activities in Dembel Zaul area. The workers come from several companies, including Transhorn Transportation Company, Asmara, Brewery, Red Sea Bottler Share Company, Postal Service, Lilo Transportation Company, Amber Web Share Company, Symbol Metal and Wood Works, Asmara Milk Factory, Duty Free Centers, Gemmel Public Transportation, and Equip Company. So far, they have planted 10,703 seedlings. The participants noted that the greening program is part of fulfilling the Martyrs Trust and that they have been conducting this program since 2010. They also expressed their commitment to continuing the program until the area is fully green. The shortage of human resource and equipment in the Habero Health Station has been resolved as part of ongoing efforts to enhance health service in the Habero subzone. Nurse Hamid Osman, head nurse of the health station, told Arena that previously patients had to travel to Aritai and Karen for laboratory services. This issue has now been addressed with the establishment of laboratory service at the center. According to Nurse Hamid, vaccination and parent prenatal service have increased at the health station along with the number of mothers delivering there. Nurse Hamid elaborated that awareness raising program have been provided to over 20,000 residents regarding the importance of breastfeeding, vaccination, birth control, awareness of sexual transmitted diseases, hygiene and environmental sanitation, nutrition and other relevant health issues. The residents in turn commended the provision of laboratory service established at the center. The Havero Health Station provides service to the residents of Havero Tsada, Havero Tsalim and Mesret.
A seminar on the role of society in crime prevention was conducted in Le'aten, Mai Habar, and Nafasid administrative areas involving students participating in the summer campaign in the Ginda subzone. Police Commissioner of the subzone, Captain Abdel Nur Sharif, emphasized that the role of the public, particularly the youth, is crucial in informing the police when crimes occur and in apprehending the perpetrators. He urged students to avoid harmful addictions and focus on their education. During his meeting with members of the community police, the community police, Captain Abdel Nur, commended their effort in resolving conflicts peacefully and provided their directives to support their endeavors. The seminar attendees also shared their suggestions or subject matter. Those were local news updates. Stay tuned for international ones. According to documents posted to the Russia's ministry's official website earlier this week, 1,651 crimes classified as terrorism were recorded in the country in January to June 2024 a nearly 40% increase over the same period in 2023. The ministry noted that for the same period from 2006 to 2023, the figure did not reach 1,400. The previous record high was registered in the first half of 2022 when 1,332 terrorism-linked crimes were recorded. Crimes associated with extremist activities, activities have also reached a record high. From January to June, 819 such crimes were registered, a nearly 12% increase year on year. This figure has not surpassed 800 since 2018. Crimes designated as terror linked in Russia include making, preparation for carrying out a terrorist attack, public calls for terrorism and justification of terrorism, as well as hostage taking. Extremist crimes include those committed on the basis of political, ideological, racial, national or religious hatred or enmity towards any social group. The U.S. economy added a mere 114,000 non-farm jobs in fully dropping from 179,000 in the prior month and below economists estimate of 185,000 jobs. The jobs report comes after yesterday's announcement that the Fed could cut rates in September, adding more complexity to the question of whether, when, and how much to cut rates. The U.S. jobless rate rose in July, which some economists said has strengthened the case for an interest rate cut. Job growth ratcheted down in July more than analysts had anticipated, according to data released Friday from the U.S. Labor Department. That caused the unemployment rate to edge up higher and sparked fears of economic slowdown. The U.S. economy added a mere 114,000 non-farm jobs in July, dropping from 179,000 in prior month and below economists' estimate of 185,000 jobs. The unemployment rate takes up to 4.3%, the highest since October 2021, when the economy was still recovering from the COVID-19 crisis. Desmond Lechman, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a former official at the IMF, stated that the report suggests the Fed is behind the policy curve. Before we go, we have a quick recap of the top stars. Zmara College of Education graduates 294 students. Water and soil conservation activity being carried out. Russia reports record levels of crimes linked with terrorism and extremism. U.S. unemployment rate ticks up strengthening case for rate cuts. And that wraps up our news broadcast for now. Thank you for watching. Good night.